Hi there, I'm Jody, and you are on my State with Jody YouTube channel. You might be wondering why I'm wearing such a gorgeous crown today. Well, I was the winner of episode 12 of The Great American Stampin' Show. If you're not familiar, The Great American Stampin' Show is a weekly video competition. We choose a card template out of the Stampin' Up! annual catalog, and the four of us each create something that's inspired by that template. We have voting open from Thursday evening till Sunday evening, and you vote for your favorite of the four just by giving it a thumbs up here on YouTube. So last week, I got the most thumbs up, the most likes, and so I was crowned the winner, and I get to wear, I'm gonna come in a little bit so you can see how special this crown really is. You might remember, if you've been following along with us, the first time I won this season, I wore a crown that I've had for like 30 years. The second time I won, my husband surprised me with a Burger King crown. And so this time, the third time, I decided to add those special jewels. So we'll see how sparkly it gets by the end of the season. I really like the card that I've made for you today with template number 13. It, it might be a repeat victory for me. It, it might be worthy. You'll get to decide, but it's really fun and I'm excited to share all of those details with you, especially where I got my inspiration for the color combination that I used. All right, sit back, relax, and enjoy this quick and creative card. All right, we are on template 13 for this week's episode. And when I looked at this, I saw just a really simple card. Um, I envisioned some torn cardstock, a little label at the top. So I am going to show you first the color combination that I chose for today. And I'm going to be honest, this morning I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. And then I took a trip to the post office, and this is what I purchased check out the color coordination. I just love these stamps. I love the colors and the simplicity of the stamp. And I saw Basic Beige, Night of Navy, Pretty Peacock, and Summer Splash on these stamps. So you can get inspiration for color combinations all over the place. And today for me, it was the post office. So that's how I landed on these colors that I'm going to use for this quick and creative card. Um, Let's see, I am using some words from Greetings of the Season and the coordinating dies, I am using this one right here. It's a stitched die so you can see it. It's basic beige and we're going to use that for that little tag that was up at the top right on that template. So I've got all my pieces here and I think I'm ready to go ahead and get started. So my card base is eight and a half by five and a half and looking for my bone folder. I'll fold that in half to get my card base. Then I'm going to start doing some layering. I'm going to start with my um, Knight of Navy. When I tear cardstock, I pull it toward me and I just kind of guide along with the, my thumb here and just gently pull it toward me. I'm doing it at a little bit of an angle, nothing crazy, but just a little bit. And I'm going to kind of set the pieces on here before I attach them. So they'll be flush all the way at the top and then just some layers. So I'm going to start with the knife to navy and then I'm going to pretty peacock and just again pull it toward me like that. Let's see if I like the way this landed here. I think that'll be okay. And then this last one is Summer Splash. Some people freak out tearing the cardstock. I I guess I'm just used to it. It doesn't bother me. Oh, this one I need to do way more. See that? Like you can't you can't even see it. So I'm gonna go up and just do a little more. I there's no you're not gonna do the same thing two times in a row because there's just so many variables when you're tearing the cardstock like that. And that's kind of what makes it fun and creative. Okay, I think I'm good with that. So I've got my three different layers here. Let me go ahead and pull that template in just one more time quick so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So we've got the template here, we've got my design here, and then I'm going to use that label up at the top. 
Okay, just checking in as we progress through this quick and creative card. Okay, so this is the basics. I think I'm going to set that aside just for a minute. And I think I want to do... I think I'm going to do my tag next. So um, out of that Greetings of the Season stamp set, I pulled out Mary and Christmas, and I'm using Night of Navy ink. And, oh, got a little bit on the block there, so I'll be careful when I stamp. Just going to stamp down here toward the bottom. Great. And then I'm going to cut off the top pretty, pretty close to the top here. I could use my trimmer. I'm just going to cut a straight-ish line with my snips. It's all good. So this then will come in right about here. I think I like the way that looks. Um, you know, last week, this this was a super favorite. This is what got me my victory for episode 12. And so I loved those one-of-a-kind snowflake dies. They're right here. There's the outline one and the detailed one. So I went ahead and used the Summer Splash cardstock. Actually, what I used here is what I'm using today as well. And I die cut a snowflake. So just because that template shows a really simple layout, it doesn't mean we can't do something special with the little tag label focal point. And so I die cut one of the snowflakes already to add there. Now, what I want to do is basically show you this card assembled. So this was my first iteration. This is what I came up with once I got back from the post office with my stamps and figured out that I wanted this color combination and I was going to play off the snowflakes on here too. This is what I came up with. So I have my layers attached and I put the tag on here. I popped it up with dimensionals. That was my very first thought. And I liked it, but I didn't love it. So let's go to my second idea. And that was to take a little bit of that Summer Splash Glimmer. Again, it's so pretty on here. And I thought, why not use that again? So I pulled this and did the same thing. Get that torn edge. This, when you tear the glimmer paper, do you see that white edge on there? So that adds a little something different too. So now I've got some glimmer paper. So now I can add that down here between one of the layers. Just add a little something special with that too. Just a little pop of glitter. And I figured if I'm going to do it down there, I should also do it right up here at the top to kind of tie that all together. So let me pull in that example. So I've got my glimmer at the top and some glimmer at the bottom just to tie those two together. Again, I liked it. I, th I liked it better than this one. I liked adding that glimmer, but it still wasn't quite where I wanted to land. So I did one more thing. All right, what I'm going to do now though is start putting this together so I can show you where I landed, what I decided to do. So I'm adding some stamp and seal to the back of this glimmer paper, attaching it right across the top of my tag. This little snowflake, I used the adhesive sheets on last week's card. Huge, huge, um, the, it, it just makes it so easy. Like that's, that's the way to go when you want to attach it like that. What I'm doing here is just literally using my liquid glue and just touching it down. Let me pull that up so you can see just the little tiny dots of glue I did in random spots. Very, very easy. And the reason that I did that is because I want this to be attached in the center, but I want the edges of the snowflake to be loose. I want these to not be flat. If I used an adhesive sheet, everything would be attached flat. And that worked great on this card. That's exactly what I wanted. But for this, I wanted just a little bit more dimension. And so I'm leaving it like that. I will add, and I did on each of them, an iridescent foil gem right in the center of the snowflake. Oops, got an extra one that popped off there. Okay, and that, let me pull that up. That just gives a little bit of a 
sparkle there. It's, it's subtle though. It's got some gold flecks in there, gold foil. So I like that it adds a little something, but it still lets my glimmer paper take the lead, I guess you would say. Okay. Um, I'm going to just kind of scoot everything over to the side and start attaching my layers. So this Knight of Navy is going to go first. And if you wanted to make your card, you know, not as thick, save on some cardstock, you definitely could just cut here and just have that little bottom showing. I decided just to go ahead and go with it with the full sheet. Um, it's kind of just easier when I'm doing the video and showing how to make it. But you definitely could just do little strips at the bottom. It won't lay as flat, but it's definitely an option. Okay, now I'm going to take the Pretty Peacock layer, add my adhesive around the perimeter again, and line it up at the top and press it down. Now I'm intentionally not pressing it down too much right here because what I want to do, I wanted to place that first and then I'm going to go back in with this layer of glimmer paper and let me turn it a bit. I'm just going to tuck it right under there. I want not a huge amount to show, but just enough to grab your attention. Now I'll push and we'll get that secure on there. So I just have my summer splash layer and then our focal point right here. But I want to do something special with this piece. And I thought about embossing it, but if I'm being honest, I lent my embossing folder to a friend today, just today, not even thinking about this card because I dropped it off at her house and then went to the post office. So I didn't even know what I was doing. Um, so I wanted to do something special to this. And this is what I decided to do. Some of you are probably freaking out right now and that's okay. But every once in a while, this is, this is kind of fun. You know, you can grit your teeth and get out frustrations. I just crumpled that baby up. So it's a very crumpled up and now textured piece of summer splash cardstock. Is this fun to you or is this stressful? I, I had a customer years ago who that absolutely just stressed her out but beyond belief when I would crumple up cardstock. I think it's fun to do every once in a while, but what do you think? Is it fun? Is it stressful? Does it, does it cause stress or relieve stress? Maybe that's a good way to say it. Okay, so with this layer, what's going to be important is that I set it over here. Let's see, let me get it in the corner there good and line it up good along the edge. And then because it's crumpled up, I want to be really sure I push it flat as I go because I want it to stay that same length so it fits across the whole front of the card. Okay, so I'm really flattening that out as I attach it. But you still see all that texture. I love it. Okay, last thing, I'm just going to put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of this tag focal point. I'm so excited to hear what you think of this. I'm, I was thrilled to win last week's episode, and I know so many of you commented that you love the glimmer paper, and so I thought, hey, I do too, and I'm going to bring that back for episode 13. So... We'll add this right about there. And there we have it, my friends. I'm going to pull it in one more time so you can see that template and what I was working with. And here is the quick and, crea quick and creative card that I came up with for today. So again, I just want to show that progression. I started just this. Pretty plain and simple. Added some glimmer paper and then added the crumpled layer of Summer Splash. Which one do you like the best? 
I definitely, I definitely like this one where I landed, but it's fun to show that progression and thought process to kind of just encourage you to just play with something. And maybe the first option that you come up with isn't going to be where you land and that's okay. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to look in all sorts of places for creative inspiration even the post office. Be sure to click through the links in my description to watch the other three videos. And then of course, as always, give a thumbs up to the video that you enjoyed the most this week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.